Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words back from the store and I have a pretty big haul so let's just go ahead and get into it because it's it's a lot so we went to Walmart and Sam's Club for groceries yes we're crazy went went to the grocery store on a Sunday before Thanksgiving it actually wasn't that bad but this is what we got so this was mainly our big snack haul since it is Thanksgiving on Thursday we didn't get a lot of meal stuff because we'll have so many leftovers but we do have a lot of snacks so on Tuesday it's Brandon's birthday so I'm making a tater tot casserole he wants pizza rolls so I have all the cheeses to mix that we have fruit for Griffin those are yogurts for me and Griff more cheese I will be doing a lot of baking, so um, we have brown sugar, confectionery sugar, whipping cream, this is ranch, but that's not for baking, cream cheese, unsalted butter, we do get um, these pulled pork meals from Sam's Club, pumpkin pie mix, cacao powder, all purpose flour, a giant thing of goldfish, necessity in this house. I guess like a Nutella cracker. Brandon got that. Snickers for Brandon's cake. Then I got these cauliflower snacking crackers because I thought that would be good. Granola. This is what we use for Griffin for juice. Just different V8 drinks. Ginger. Two giant things of apples. He, We all eat apples like crazy. So there's ketchup, we have um, beef jerky, salad stuff, hand soap, bread, sour cream. Those are protein chips that are really good. Griffin and I are obsessed with these pretzels. A giant thing of batteries, diapers, pudding, and these are my body armor drinks. I drink one of these a day to help with milk production and it actually does work. And then a pumpkin pie. We got more snacks than anything because we were out completely. The only meat we got is this ground chicken because I'm making Asian chicken meatballs for Brandon's birthday. And then we have regular milk and oat milk. We use regular milk for like cooking and baking and then we drink oat milk. We got some go-go squeezes and a giant five pound thing of oranges. Like I said, this was mainly a haul for snacks because we usually buy our snacks from Sam's Club and a giant bulk and then we feed on them for the rest of the month. Uh, I think our snack pile lasted almost two months. Like it, we get a lot of snacks. But since we're not making a lot of meals and stuff, it kind of, we still spent the same amount as we normally would, but now it's for snacks rather than meats and stuff like that. So I'm going to go put this away and then I will be right back. Okay, so it is nighttime. Today has been kind of just a lazy day. I'm just going to, it's been pretty lazy. We 
We all took naps. Um, we've been snacking, just kind of watching movies and shows this Sunday because like Brandon and I have literally not stopped in like seven or eight days. Like from the moment our feet hit the ground, like we are going strong. So um, I did want to close the video off with our Thanksgiving outfits because that's something that we got today when we were looking around. Um, so I'm gonna show you the pieces. I'm so excited. Um, I am gonna show you, I'll probably vlog Brandon's birthday and then throw some Thanksgiving pieces in there for Friday's video. So stay tuned for that. You can see him all honest and how great it is. But um, I will show you, like, we're getting our family pictures done and we'll do some video uh, at the tree farm. So we will show you some of that. I'm so excited. But yeah, today was well, like, really, we just needed a reset day where we didn't do anything. Yes, I'm behind on homework. Yes, there's like a million things I should have done today. I should have worked out. I should have blah, blah, blah. I needed a day to do nothing. And when it's not like we didn't do nothing. I went to the grocery store. We were there for like two hours. We had an appointment this morning. So, it's not like I didn't do nothing. It's just, I didn't grind as hard as I could have, you know? <laughs> but today, I'm giving myself some grace. So, because once Monday hits, we're grinding. I'm probably going to do some homework tonight. I'm going to edit this video so I can get it up tomorrow. But yeah, let me show you the outfits. I'll be right back. Ooh, they're so cute. I love how they turned out. So, I got these shirts from Aspen & Co. Hers says gobble gobble. Griffin says little turkey and he'll wear this flannel over top of it with jeans. We wanted something super casual but very cute. This will be her outfit and she'll have leggings underneath this. But hers says gobble gobble with the orange to match and the green to match with this. I have this outfit as well. I don't, she might wear this on Wednesday. I don't know, but it's really cute. And it comes with a hat too. And I have a bow that matches it. But then my first turkey day. And I pulled like a bunch of um, just shirts from Griffin because they're in the same size. So there's this one, but it has like a bunch of stains and stuff from where Griffin wore it. So I don't know. I might play around with those too. But there's this. This outfit I'm so excited for. His. And then I got a orange shirt to match. And then Brandon is just going to be wearing a long sleeve shirt. And that's our little family outfit. Yes, I am that extra mom that I try. I try really hard to whenever I dress the kids. You can always tell the difference between when Brandon dresses them and when I when I dress them, because I always try to either have a coordinating theme or they're somewhat matching, but they're still kind of individual. Because it's kind of hard, because she wears a lot of pink and he wears a lot of blue and greens, and but we we make it work. So and especially like if we all go somewhere together, like I try to have a coordinating. Um, color theme and this is like one of the first times I've bought myself something because um, I usually just try to pull from like the older clothes I have but I am accepting the fact that I do not fit in those clothes anymore I will never fit in those clothes and even if I could I probably wouldn't wear those clothes because I have a bunch of stuff from like before I got married and when I was in the corporate world and when um, or when I was a teenager and I still have those clothes and heads up Julie you don't fit in that stuff anymore you have pushed two humans out of your body and you bought those clothes like 10 years ago when you were anorexic. You were never going to fit in those clothes. I don't want to ever fit in those clothes. I don't ever want to be that tiny. 
but I think that is going to be this video it's gonna be everything I'm going to vlog a lot um, vlogmas is coming we are gonna do vlogmas I sat and planned it out today of like what the videos are gonna be for the first week I am so excited so thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and comment because things are gonna be getting good I'm absolutely excited I got a hard drive for my computer to be fixed I'm looking into getting a new computer so I'm super excited so thanks for watching and I'll see you in our video on Friday bye guys Thank you.